next we are going to preview the Bitcoin Core wallet that can be downloaded for any of these operating systems you see here. Most common Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You just click the download Bitcoin Core button and run it as you would anything else. And then once that's done, you open the program. And with this, it's important to note that Bitcoin Core is a full node wallet. It will run the entire, well, it will install the entire blockchain onto your computer. So you'll have a full copy of it, but that does require a lot of space and bandwidth. So you will want a, I'd say at least terabyte hard drive. Um, the initial download is about 500 gigabytes and then five to 10 gigabytes per month after that will be added as transactions get added to the blockchain. Um, yeah, as soon as you open the program, it will ask you where you want to install the data directory. I'll just leave it at default, but you also have the option to prune the blockchain, which means you won't store the entire blockchain on your computer, but rather as the default is two gigabytes at a time, which is the last six days of data. And then from there, you'll collect everything going forward. So we'll just do that for this so we can dive in and see how the actual wallet works and what it looks like. So we click OK here. And as you can see, the wallet or the blockchain will start downloading. It will take quite a while for it to actually download, depending on how fast your internet connection is and what type of hard drive you're using. With an SSD, it usually takes not too long. My typical results have been about <clears throat> 9 to 12 hours for me. Um, I know some people report several days, um, and that's perfectly normal. But yeah, it depends on your speeds. So with that, we can go ahead and hide this as it's downloading. It will just download in the background. And as you can see right here, it's going to download 14 years and 42 weeks of data if it downloads from the very first transaction. So with that, you have the Bitcoin Core wallet here set up. You can click on create a new wallet and you can enter a name for the wallet. That name can be anything you'd like. I'd recommend you encrypt the wallet so the wallet file is password protected on your computer. You can leave all of these as is. Click create and then you'll enter a password. And then click OK. And then here it will warn you uh, not to lose your passphrase. Um, if you do, you can lose all of your Bitcoin. Yes, we would like to continue. OK, creating the wallet. And there you go. We now have a full Bitcoin wallet created. Now with that, we can send and receive Bitcoins and view transaction history, but we won't actually be able to do that until the blockchain is finished downloading, but we can still look around the wallet in the meantime. Click on the send tab and simply to send Bitcoin to an address, you would enter the address here. You can enter a label for your own personal notes and then the amount of Bitcoin you wish to send. You can denominate it any way you'd like in Bitcoin, in Satoshis, which is one one mil, one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin. And it tells you right here the breakdown for each one. And yes, use available balance, I believe will send the maximum amount in your wallet if you choose that option. You have the option here to put a custom transaction fee if you would like to speed up the transaction above what the wallet recommends. But for the most part, you can just use recommended. And then you would hit send. To receive Bitcoin, you'd simply hit the receive tab and create a receiving address. That's it. 
Anyone can send Bitcoin to this address and it will show up in this wallet immediately once the blockchain is finished syncing for the first initial time. And you don't have to fill this uh, other stuff out. This is just for your own personal records. You can if you'd like, but you don't have to. And then lastly, your transaction history will appear on this screen with all of your incoming and outgoing transactions and amounts. Let's see what other options this wallet has. Back up your wallet, very important. That will back up your wallet.dat file, and you want to save that in case something happens to your wallet. You can restore it using this file, and to do that, you just install the wallet software again on a different device, and then go to File and Restore Wallet. Select that wallet.dat file, and then enter your password, and the wallet will be restored almost like magic. Now here, you can change your passphrase that you use to secure the wallet. And let's see. What I would like to see is a dark mode on here. You can start your Bitcoin Core wallet when the system starts. If you'd like, you can change how far back you'd like to prune your wallet. And then if we go to network, all of that I will leave as is. Unless you know what you're doing with your network settings, I would recommend not messing with any of those. Window, minimize icon to tray, or show tray icon, yeah. And display. You can, yeah, once again, unit to show amounts in. You can change between Bitcoin, MBTC, sats whatever your preference and that's pretty much it i hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped somewhat um yes if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thank you